Alright, uh, what's up guys? This video is pretty much to show you how to get Theme Builder on your iPod Touch. This will make you have you uh, be able to make your own custom themes on 1.1.3 and 1.1.4 and also if you want 1.1.1 and .2. So, um, first I'm just going to say that uh, the reason I haven't made any new videos in a while is because there's nothing pretty much new, and if there was, I would have made one, so, well, this is new, so I'm making one. I guess I got, had a little delay, but, alright, here, so I'm in firmware 1.1.4 right now, and, uh, first you're just going to go into installer, and, um, you're going to want to add this source. It's going to be called repo, R-E-P-O dot iPod touched dot net. Now I'm not sure if this is with uh, all sources, but if it isn't, then you're gonna want to click sources. And top right, you click edit. Top left, you click add, and type in what I just said, and I'll probably flash it up on the screen. So uh, type that in, and then, and then after you're done, go into your categories, and you'll see you're gonna see iPod touched. Let's look for that. There we go. See iPod touched. Now you're going to want to click on that and you will see something called Theme Builder or Theme Builder 2.0. Just install Theme Builder, right? So right after you have that, you're going to install Theme Builder, which I guess there it's not here because I already have it. And then after you install Theme Builder, go to Theme Builder icons and download like, yeah, I guess it would say 785 icons. And, uh, yeah. So install that, and then after you have all that installed, I'll probably have it in my description on what to install, then you're going to want to go back and go into Theme Builder, which I have right here. Alright, now this is what it's going to look like. Now this is featured. If you want to read this, go ahead. I mean, I read it already. It's the guy. It's just some guy that made this. Thank you to uh, iPod Touched for making this, and you're going to want to click New Theme. Now just name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it like random letters G F A F S G G. Okay. Now click OK. Now you're gonna see this. Click wallpaper to pick uh, your wallpaper because you just installed them, and you're gonna see like well, I guess some of these wallpapers will come up. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this random one. Then you pick a dock. Um. There we go. Uh, status bar. There are none. Then you pick icons. Say, like, say it's an iPhone. You might do text. Like, you don't have an iPhone. Do calendar. For calendar, you're like, you open that up. You pick whatever one. Then you go to photos and camera, so on and so forth. And say you have um, ha uh, hacked applications, which obviously you will. You're gonna wanna. Here, I'll show you. But like, look. Let me click one for calculate calculator. Let it load. All right. I'm just gonna do this picture of the mail for calculator. And then let's say another one. I mean, did I say calculator, I meant calendar. Alright, say I have, obviously you're going to have install or if you're going to have this. So, top right you're going to want to click edit. And then top left you want to click add. Alright, now you just have to do it case, sens case sensitive. Do I-N-S-T-A-L-L-E-R. The first letter will be always capital, so that's good. Then you click done and... If you go to the very top, you'll see installer there. Now, you, oops. Yeah, you'll see installer there. Now, pick whatever you want for installer. So, for installer, I'm just going to do, let's see. All right, there we go. This Firefox little picture. I like that. All right, now, um, say you're done with this. You're going to want to go back, click close, save it, and then go exit out of that. Go into um, summer boards and... Get your theme, and you see G F A F S G G. What I just made. Let that load into my into my iPod, and you'll see, you'll will see the icon I just pictured. Uh, the yeah, there we go. As you can see, I only picked two icons, which is the installer, and you can see it's the Firefox and the calendar, which is the mail. So that works definitely. All right, now I'm sure you're wondering, what if you don't like the pictures? that are already on the image pack. Now before you go any further, please watch my video that is called something along the lines of how to get um, QFTB Pro on your computer working for free or something like that around there. I'm not really sure the title. 
yeah, so it's gonna be in that. So I'm just gonna get prepared, and you're gonna go ahead and open up your Q3 Pro. I'm just gonna get my iPod into it, and I'll show you uh, how to do that also. So I'm gonna turn on my camera for right now. Okay, so right now I'm connected to q TV Pro, and uh, I'm about to show you how to get into it after you have installed it, or downloaded it onto your computer. Click File, then click New, then click ST, what is that, SFTP, SSH2, click that one, and you're going to see this pop up. Just label, label it your iPod or your name, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then for host address, just hold on for that for a second. Uh, username do root and alpine is the password. A L P I N E is the password. All right. In order to find the host address, you're gonna to want to go into your iPod Touch or iPhone. This will work on both. Then you oh you can't see that. Then after you do that, go on to Wi-Fi. Then you'll see a whole bunch of them. Find the one that you're connected to. Click the little blue arrow. You will see your IP address right there. That's mine, don't worry. You can't get into someone else's, I've tried. Okay, uh, you type your IP address right there. Right there where... Type that in exactly, then click connect. I'm not going to do that because I'm already connected, so I'm going to click cancel. Once you connect, look at this little arrow up here. It's like the go back a folder. Click that like a whole bunch of times until you go all the way back. It'll just Until you just see a little slash. Now that you see the little slash, you're going to want to click on VAR, then you're going to want to click on mobile, then you want to click on library after that loads, and then you'll see something called theme builder, where is it? There we go, theme builder. After you click on that, you, as you noticed earlier, on theme builder, like, there's different areas where you install stuff, like you saw wallpaper status bar. You see that right here, doc, icon, status bar, wallpaper, and temp, just to leave that alone. So, if you guys have made custom themes for 1.1.1 and 1.1.2 and SSH them into your iPod, you will know how to, uh, how to do that. How to, uh, I mean, you'll have the icons, but if you don't have them, you might just want to, like, make them, I don't know, if you, then you, if you just need icons to do this. So I have already got my icons for my other themes, like you can see I have my themes right here, but I just put all my icons, where is it, I have just put all my icons in one folder, if I can find it, alright there we go, icons, see that, Scott's icons, you're going to want to just see this, open up icons like that, and drag, just drag Scott's icons, or your icons into there. Just grab it and drag it in. Add it. It it already exists because I have, I have that already. So uh, just it'll work. And then you'll you will be able to have your own icons on here, which I do. Now I'll show you on Theme Builder that I have it. Let's see Theme Builder. There we go. You'll see it. I'll do Edit Existing. That one that I showed you earlier. Now look, we'll go into icons and do calendar. Now you can see that I have, give it a minute. You will see, and you will see huge demo, huge icon pack demo, there we go. All images, huge icon, huge, huge image pack, and demo image pack, and then you'll see Scott's, which is right here that I just dragged onto it. Now, uh, you can do that with wallpapers, which is like pretty much the same thing. You just click on wallpaper. If you have any questions, please message me. Oh yeah, and another thing. For those of you who are still trying to do your uh, downgrade, who is using my downgrade video, please just jailbreak from 1.1.4. Don't even bother with that. It's, uh, jailbreaking from 1.1.4 is so simple. Just use that. I uh, hope I helped you guys. Please check out um, please subscribe and I guess check out my page later.